And what we've seen is the traditional Conservative Party uh, and socialist parties in France, they've almost disappeared, haven't they? Absolutely incredible changes in French politics, Nigel. The Gaullists, the, the Conservative uh, Party of uh, Charles de Gaulle, uh, absolutely wiped out yesterday, less than 5%. It lost uh, its deposit and uh, will not get its expenses refunded now. They are literally crowdfunding an appeal for 7 million euros. Imagine de Gaulle, uh, that happening in de Gaulle's days. Socialists, forget them. They, they were in government uh, under Francois Hollande uh, just uh, five years ago. Yep. Uh, they polled at just under 2%. Imagine that, wiped out these as well. Are, these are meanwhile, as you say, you have dangerous. extremist parties. Now, now, you have extremist parties like Melenchons uh, yeah. getting 20, 22%, 23%. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, all of the BBC today and others call Le Pen far right. I was having a look at her economic policies. Strikes me that her economic policies are quite in line with the hard left Melenchon. Yes, uh, absolutely. Uh, she has got a very uh, anti capitalist feel to her, certainly her economic agenda, and in many ways her social agenda as well. She uh, is somebody who's hugely sceptical uh, of the huge organisations that play such an important part in all our lives. Uh, for example, the banks. The banks haven't looked after her at all here in France uh, over the years. She's, been, uh, she's had to go abroad for, for financing. Uh, she has... Uh, an anti-establishment view. Uh, she has removed uh, Frexit from her agenda, but there's no doubt uh, Marine Le Pen presidency would be a huge thorn in the side to, uh, to the European project, okay. should be attacking it from the within. So yes, all kinds of uh, establishment, anti-establishment noises for Marine Le Pen. And uh, I think that's a very, very fair comparison with Mélenchon in some respects, Nigel.